Hello boys and girls. Today, we are going into the last part of chapter 4 that is chemical composition in a cell. The standard content for today's lesson is on nucleic acid. The success criteria are First, you are able to list all the elements present in nucleic acid. Second, you are able to explain the structure of nucleotides that are composed of nitrogenous base, ribose or deoxyribose sugars, and phosphate. The third success criteria is you are able to describe the structure of the nucleic acid, which are DNA and RNA. The fourth success criteria is you are able to justify the importance of nucleic acids in cells. And the last success criteria for today is you are able to describe the formation of chromosomes from DNA and protein. Okay, going to the first success criteria. The elements present in nucleic acids. The elements present in nucleic acid are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and phosphorus. The monomers of nucleic acids are known as nucleotide. Now, we are going into the details for the structure of each nucleotide. So you can see from the diagram, each nucleotide consists of three main parts, which are pentose sugar. You can see in the diagram, it is gray in color with five carbon sugar. The second one is nitrogenous base. And the last one, is the phosphate group. There are two types of pentose sugar which are deoxyribose and the second one is ribose. As you can see in the diagram, deoxyribose you can find it in DNA whereas for ribose sugar you can find it in RNA. Nitrogenous base consists of guanine, labeled as G, adenine, labeled as A, cytosine, labeled as C, thymine, labeled as D, and the last one is uracil, labeled as U. There are two types of nucleic acids, which are Deoxyribonucleic acid, known as DNA, and the other one is ribonucleic acid, known as RNA. As I have mentioned earlier, RNA contains ribose sugar, while DNA contains deoxyribose sugar. Now, we go into the detail for deoxyribonucleic acid, that is DNA. DNA consists of two polynucleotide chains that are intertwined in the opposite direction. And these two polynucleotide chains will form double helix. The nitrogenous base groups on each polynucleotide chain are matched and bound together by hydrogen bonds. From the diagram, you can see that the dotted line represents the hydrogen bonds. As for the nitrogenous base, you can see that adenine will always pair with thymine, whereas guanine will always pair with cytosine.
Now, we go into detail for ribonucleic acid or RNA. RNA consists of a single polynucleotide chain. It is shorter than DNA. The nitrogenous base present are cytosine, adenine, guanine, and uracil. Uracil replaces thymine in DNA. There are three main types of RNA. There are messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, and transfer RNA, which are all involved in the protein synthesis process. The diagram shows the difference between DNA and RNA. As you can see, RNA consists of a single polynucleotide chain, whereas DNA consists of double polynucleotide chains with forming a double helix structure. The nitrogenous base present in RNA are cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. Whereas the nitrogenous base present in DNA are cytosine, guanine, adenine, and thymine. DNA is important as a carrier of hereditary information and it is also important as a determinant of characteristic in living organism. The DNA contains genetic codes carried by the nitrogenous bases. The genetic code is written as a series of three bases that determines the sequence of amino acid in a protein. Look at the diagram. From the diagram, you can see that the three base sequence in, in DNA is transcribed into mRNA codons, which are then translated into amino acid sequence to form a single polypeptide chain. This means that the sequence of nucleotides in DNA will determine the amino acid sequence in the polypeptide chain that builds the protein. The last part of this chapter is you are going to see the formation of chromosome from DNA and proteins. Chromosomes are actually formed from DNA polynucleotide chains that are worn around a protein called histone. Look at the diagram. Histones do not carry any genetic information. Instead, DNA molecules will combine with the histone proteins to form what we call as nucleosomes. Nucleosomes are then intertwined to form the chromosome structure. The chromosome structure, then you'll find it in the nucleus of a cell. Okay, boys and girls, we have come to the end of the slide. So these are your tasks. First, answer all the success criteria in this video in your notebook. Use any suitable thinking map or Busan map to illustrate your idea. Second task is answer all the questions in your activity book on the nucleic acid. Have fun and stay safe. Bye.